Hi artists, it's Miss Coon, and today we're going to create a slice of pie drawing inspired by the art of Wayne Thiebaud. We're going to talk a little bit more about his art in a second. Our I can statement today is I can refine artwork and process by adding details to enhance emerging meaning. And so some of our focuses today are going to be 3D form, shading, light source, and value. And some of those terms we've already talked about before. We're also going to look at some art by Wayne Thiebaud. So um, we're going to need today a sheet of paper, crayons, and a pencil. So let's look at our new art terms and look at some of Wayne's art. Wayne Thiebaud is a contemporary artist. That means he's still alive and making art today. He's an American artist who is known for his colorful depictions of everyday objects. He often paints sweets like cakes, pies, ice cream, pastries, and candies. His still life works typically have a well-defined shadow. In 2019, his painting Encased Cake sold at Christie's Auction House for eight and a half million dollars. So today we're going to utilize form, which is when we draw a 3D shape. We're going to decide on a light source and have a well-defined shadow on one side, just like Wayne Tebow does in his still life. We'll use shading to create the shadow with our pencil, and let's get started. Okay, so for our project today, you're going to have your paper turned horizontal, and we're going to start by drawing with pencil. Our first line that we're going to draw is going to be kind of in the center-ish, and it could be straight or a little bit diagonal. Mine's gonna be a little bit diagonal. That means a little bit of it is high and it goes at an angle. And then I'm gonna draw a short line that comes up, up, and I'm gonna stay parallel to this line. So if you drew a straight line, you need to draw straight again. If you did a diagonal, you're gonna draw a diagonal. Diagonal. And then I'm gonna draw an acute angle that's a skinny, little alligator mouth. I'm going to come up and stop. It's not going to be as long as far back as this because this one's going to come across so it has an obtuse angle at the top. So I'm going to curve and connect. So I have a 3D form that looks like a little slice of pie. My pie crust is going to be kind of ruffled or have a rough edge so I'm going to wiggle and then connect and then I'll draw a parallel line that comes straight down. It's going to turn and stay parallel to this diagonal line. It's the crest and then come back up. So I have a 3D slice of pie. Next I'm going to draw a plate for it to sit on. So I'm going to draw kind of an oval shape that comes from behind my pie, around the front, and then back in the back. So I'm going to touch my pie, come around, big loop, and come back. And I don't want my plate to float in the air, so I need to draw a horizontal line in the background that's higher than this plate. So I'm going to come up a little higher and draw a line so I can see the table, the plate, and the slice of pie. You don't have to, but you can if you want, add a little dollop of whipped cream by drawing just sort of like a little blobby shape on top. You don't have to do that, but if you would like to, you can. And then we're going to add our shadows. Like Wayne Tebow always has a drastic shadow, and we're going to use our pencil. We're also going to add a little bit of dimension to our plate so it looks like it's 3D and sinking in. So I'm going to very lightly not pressing down hard, use my pencil to kind of lightly go back and forth and shade where the plate dips in. Again, I'm going back and forth and if they don't all line up and it looks a little messy, that's okay. Come all the way around not pressing down hard, doing it lightly. Okay, and then I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to kind of smudge this line 
to create the sh shading on my plate. And your finger's gonna get kind of dirty. And if you have any little edges that kind of bother you that you wanna clean up with your eraser, that's fine. There would also be a little bit of a shadow on the plate right under the pie. So I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of color back and forth along the bottom of my pie and a little bit behind here. I should have gone up a little. Okay, and I'm gonna blend those pencil lines with my finger, creating some shading on my plate from my pie. bothered by that line so I'm going to see if I can change it a little there sometimes if the line is too sharp or you press a little harder than you would like you can erase it and touch it up okay and now I want to add a little bit of a shadow on the table so if my shadow on my pie is coming to the front and the shadow from the plate would kind of come to this under part and a little towards the back. So I'm going to come to my table. I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow. And blend it. Okay, our next step is to add color. So we're gonna use crayons to add color to our pie picture. I'm gonna leave my plate white so that I don't accidentally cover up my shadows or my shading that I did. And I'm gonna speed this video up. love to see photos of what you create. You can post photos of your art on Instagram at Coon Art Room or you can email them to Miss Coon at A-M-K-U-H-N at auburnschools.org. Thanks. Bye.